Hi beautiful Capricorns and welcome back to the channel. Capricorn, let's go straight to your messages. Capricorn, please and thanks. So there could be growing pains here. What's going on? Don't worry, darling, you will find the way of overcoming obstacles and finding joy and being carefree. You will find your way. What's Spirit's telling you not to worry? Spirit of the tree. Nature, priestess, inner peace. If you need, if you're in need of a lesson then there is wisdom in the trees. So you could be worrying about something here. It's safe to surrender the good feelings, the lover, Aphrodite, passion and abundance. It's time to come home. You could be coming home to yourself. You could be finding yourself. It's okay to forget and then remember all over again. Returning home. You could be returning to self, getting back to yourself. Or someone wants to come home. Period. Let's get into this. Let's see what the T says. What is this? Someone's taking notes and watching you on how you do something. Someone drank the Kool-Aid, but now are questioning their actions. Marital problems stemming from different personalities. Ooh, someone's vengeance, vengeful and will seek revenge to tear others down. Oh, unsatisfied. Has everything, but it's never enough. Someone's strategizing on how to return here. Someone could be an F-boy, pretty to look at, and good to do the deed with, but someone keeps taking back their lying, cheating ex. Someone's obsessed. And somebody could just be wasting their time on frivolous people. What's going on? Someone's hustling hard, trying to get money here. Someone's taking notes, watching how you do something. Someone's spying on fake accounts to look you up. So this is toxic love with controlling tendencies. Mistakes. They have no idea what they're doing. But see, nothing wrong with that. Hmm.
someone wants to return here to a relationship. This is someone who is totally unsatisfied. They have everything, but they're never satisfied. Wasting their time on frivolous things, situations, and people that really don't matter. And it's like... It's like they want a commitment or they promise commitment or they make promises and they keep repeating cycles and they don't see anything wrong with it. They just figured that they can do whatever they want to do and then come home when it doesn't work out for them or something. I, I, I don't know. This is Maybe someone keeps returning to their ex or their ex keeps taking them back or something like that. This person doesn't see anything wrong with it. So it's like every time they have a fight or every time there's a problem, this is someone who is an F boy, okay? And they're never content. They have everything, but they're never content. This is someone with that mentality, or girl for that matter. It can work both ways, but it's like... They don't see anything wrong with it. They don't. It's like this person, they're never satisfied. Look, they're never satisfied. It could be an emperor who is a cheater. They are never satisfied with what they have. They have everything, but they're never satisfied. Look, four of cups, they're not satisfied. They're always discontent. They always get bored. So they don't see anything wrong with what they do. Now, they could always return to their ex. This is someone who has a backup plan. It's like if you have an argument or a fight with them, they have a backup plan. It's like they always want to, you know, okay, well, I'll just go home. I'll just go home. They don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. So... They're never content. You're going to have to trust your intuition here. And I think that you're moving on. I think you're worthier of this. And they're always spying on you. They get jealous. Because it's like you ended things or they did or they ended things with you they don't see anything wrong with what they're doing so how can you help a person like that like they don't see anything wrong with what they're doing they really don't they're like well i'm bored here i'm discontent so i'm gonna go cheat if you argue with them if you fight with them it's like i'll go get someone else let them go and return to yourself. It's like you're coming back home to you. You could have got lost in this person that was not, they didn't earn your respect. They don't deserve you, Capricorn. 
It's like this person doesn't deserve you. They don't think that they're doing anything wrong. So they can honestly lie to you and feel like, well, they're not doing anything wrong. I mean, it's all about me. It's all about what I want. And if you start arguing with me or you fight with me, then that gives me an excuse to go out and cheat. And it'll be all your fault because, like, this is a narcissist. <laughs> Just saying. They're just holding you up. The selfish. You don't give me what I want, I'll go get it where I want. And they don't find anything wrong with what they're doing. They don't see what the problem is here. Like, I'm discontent here, so I can do what I want, when I want to do it, and how I want to do it. And you're going to have to be the one that makes all the sacrifices. And otherwise, it's just like, okay, fine then, you know. I'll go to plan B. You know, if I'm discontent, if I'm bored, uh, they're never satisfied with who they have or what they have. Let them go and return to yourself. Like, this is someone who keeps repeating habits and patterns, and they're not going to change. Somebody is like, well, I love them. I love them. Well, is it reciprocal? Because that's not love. That isn't love. It's one-sided love. Oh, don't stress me out. Don't get me stressed out here. You know, what's wrong? You know, it's like... I love you, so what's the problem here? Let's work on things. When they get lonely. And it's like... <sighs> they keep repeating cycles. I'm telling you. And then turning around and blaming you for it because you're not satisfying them or whatever. That's a head trip. This person's playing head games. They don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. And it's like... They regret ever meeting this B-I-T-C-H. So... Whoever this energy is, they throw temper tantrums and they regret ever meeting them. This karmic had been talking about you, Capricorn. They've been talking about you. So no doubt they're fighting about you. No doubt this person wants to come back to you. No doubt in my mind that they want to come back. However, do you want to back? Be careful what you wish for. I'm just saying, be careful what you wish for. Because you may end up regretting it. Because they don't see that they did anything wrong. Okay? It's like, well... I'm discontent, I'm selfish, I'm arrogant, so I can do whatever I want. And then 
you know, someone is taking advantage here of your kindness and your love, and I don't like it. And that's plain and simple. Someone is definitely taking advantage here. Or were. And they're like, oh, well, they have no idea what they're doing, but they don't see anything wrong with that. They're going, look, I made a mistake, okay? Look, I made a mistake. They're arrogant. And they don't even see what they're doing is wrong. How can you make that work with someone? So it's okay to forget and then remember all over again. Do you want to repeat this all over again? Especially after you just finding yourself again. They're trying to communicate with you telepathically. And they, they're they focusing in on sex. This person could be going through dark night of the soul and they regret ever meeting this person now. It could be you who regrets ever meeting this person. Okay, so switch roles where you need to. Because this person got you on a yo-yo. It's like back and forth, back and forth back and forth they want to resurrect this relationship I'm telling you right now they got a cheating heart their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end and your soul deserves better they feel foolish for crossing the line and messing up the connection but too embarrassed to come forward yeah they want to come back but this person is never content they're not going i don't care if you're the emperor i don't care if you're the empress they're never content this is someone with a wandering eye they feel entitled to cheat you do one thing wrong it's like and they're going to provoke you to have a fight so that will justify them going out doing what they do. And then turn around and blaming you for it. This is narcissistic thinking. Well, you know, you're, look, you you were arguing with me you fought with me so i i now am justified to go do what i want to do because like they are never content they're picking fights to go justify what they do and then this person gets a realization a wake-up call you give them a you know, a wake-up call and they're good for a while until they get bored again. They got options. Especially when they're lonely. It's just like this person doesn't know how to be alone. They're always discontent. They always got to be looking. They got to have a backup. They got to have someone lined up because they don't know how to live within their own skin. And they got people they call and they got people they talk to. And that's what it's saying unsatisfied they have everything but it will never be enough this is a person you cannot satisfy it's never enough so it's not you don't even think for a sec it's you it is not you it's them they're a tyrant innocent and pretend that they're the victim 
so I don't know if someone has fallen into victim mentality. Look, this is an F boy or F girl, and they're not ever satisfied. They're not satisfied when they're in a marriage. They're not satisfied when they're with anybody. They're, they want to go play. They want to go play. Who could deal with that? Stay single then. I don't understand why people get married if that's what they're going to do. Just stay single. Why do the people go around building up all this bad karma for themselves? That's on them. They're building bad karma. Um, Let's see what they got to say. Let's see what this person has to say. Their head is not in the right place. Period. And then they're saying they're focusing all their energy on the work and themselves. Oh, all I gotta do is hold you in my arms and everything will be okay. But they're not showing up for you. They don't feel they deserve you and quite honestly, they don't. Okay, just don't judge the present me for who I was in the past. Well, I don't know. Kind of hard not to, just saying. Mistakes, I can't fix my mistakes, only myself. They were not showing up for you emotionally. You didn't deserve everything I did to you. I'm working towards stability so that I have something to offer you. I just can't come back with nothing. They don't want you to judge them for who they were in the past. They feel stupid. can't concentrate on anything they miss you it's like this person is a, there's a lot of victim mentality here that I don't like it's like they pretended they were over you but they're not they feel they don't deserve you and quite honestly they don't I'm just saying that's what they were doing they don't tell the truth they don't so what's going on what did they do what went wrong here <clears throat> not being understood yeah, the spirit is saying, um, <clears throat> don't let people in your business. You could have been confiding in people about your relationship, putting on a happy front for family and friends. I, I don't know, but no longer happy. And I think you've been too forgiving. I think that you were too forgiving. Could have cost a lot of money dealing with this relationship. It's like... Mm, see? So they figured that you nagged and bitched for everything. That you were always in a negative energy. Well, I'm just going to be real. I'd be in a negative energy if someone I know is not being there for me emotionally. I would be in a negative energy if someone was using me as like um, to fulfill their needs, but they're never satisfied. <clears throat> Someone could have said, I loved you too quick. Somebody could have rushed into something and then turns out to be a disappointment. 
I don't know. But it is saying that this person wants or is saying, I've changed, I've changed, and they want to come back home. But quite honestly, that's only time will tell, and you would have to be the deciding factor. Because you just have found yourself again, or you're returning back to yourself. You could have lost yourself in this situation. And... I don't know, Capricorn, they feel they don't deserve you. And quite honestly, I'm thinking that's the first honest thing they've said. They don't. Now, if this person... I'm not saying people can't change here because people can, but not if they don't see what they've done wrong. So that's going to be you being the deciding factor on whether this person is being honest with you or not. Because some are and some are not. And if they see, you might be giving this person another chance, but you know what? If you've already given them chance after chance after chance, I would worry about your own self. Thank you. I would worry about your own life. I would worry and focus in on you because they're all focused in on themselves. I would focus in on you. Take care. Good luck.